welcome to this broadcast of Warrior TV. I'm Parsa. And I'm Barrett. We have a great show for you today, starting with a story about Cookies and Carols. Cookies and Carols is a festive day that starts with teachers from all three divisions singing Christmas carols to students and parents during the morning carpool. At lunchtime, the students got in to enjoy homemade cookies provided by St. Martin's families in the atrium. Early childhood and elementary students also were able to sing carols and visit Santa! Cookies and Carols is a wonderful way to kick off the Christmas season. Earlier this semester, the middle school visited Windshape. Jack, Caroline, and Will gave us an inside look at the event. I'm Jack. Me, Will, and Caroline are reporting on the 2016 Windshape experience. Every year, St. Martin's goes to Windshape Camp to have a fun learning and team building experience. Why does the middle school attend the camp and what is SMES's aim for them to learn? So the goal for Windshape is really just to get the kids to get to know each other outside of school and to help work on their team building and their team working skills. Okay. Of all the, the camps or programs that you could have chosen, why Windshape? Mm -hmm. Well, Windshape was chosen quite a few years ago when middle school was still small and it was a place that wasn't too far away, and, but it seemed like it was far away, sort of had like a mountainous feel. So um, it was really easy to get a small group of kids up there, and it's sort of a tradition now. Do you have any favorite experiences from this year in Lunship? Well, this year I really enjoyed seeing everybody do new activities. It's the first year that they've kind of switched gears, and it was fun seeing that kind of come into play. And also really enjoyed the last day when everybody did field games and saw all sorts of games I've never seen before, like the crab walk and um, some water games. So that was really fun. How about in past trips? Um, past trips, I don't really have a favorite experience, but I really just love to go to campus, be outside. It's gorgeous and just love to see the kids having fun and being kids. Thank you. The sixth grade worked on team building while doing fun activities. Seventh grade participated in an all new scavenger hunt where two teams had to race to find checkpoints so they could learn the answer to a riddle. This year at Windshape, our eighth grade students did lots of fun activities using a zip line. They hooked each other across the river on the zip line. They one by one brought down the blocks to build a tower on the zip line, and they even just got to ride it for fun. On November 14th, the book fair opened. Students would visit the fair to buy posters, books, and other fun items. There was a raffle that you could enter to win a free poster. After the Grandparents' Day program, grandparents could go with their grandchildren to the book fair and shop. This is a fundraiser for the school and helps fund different programs. The Drama Club is already busy at work for the performance pieces for Thescon, including Lion King and also for Mary Poppins. The annual White Elephant Party held on Monday, December 5th, is when the drama club exchanges funny gag gifts with each other. It is always such a fun event for members in the club. On December 6th, 6th, the middle school band and choral programs performed two concerts for students and one for parents. The concert included traditional Christmas carols and fun new songs from both the band and choruses. It is an eighth grade tradition to dress up in ugly Christmas sweaters to perform. The night was filled with carols and laughs, so be sure to go and watch the replays on cube.com. The basketball seasons are in full swing. All teams have shown some improvement through their early games. Be sure to come out and support your Warriors in January. On November 29th, the St. Martins had a special visitor in chapel, Bishop Robert Wright. He was able to participate in all three chapel services, and he gave inspirational sermons to both in the elementary and middle school students. And God's dream for us is that you and I realize that we're a family. We are an American family. We are children of God. So even though we disagree, sometimes disagree loudly, we have to remember ultimately, we are family. It is always a special treat to have the bishop on campus. Just before Thanksgiving, St. Martin's hosted the annual Early Childhood Element Elementary School Grandparents Day. Hundreds of grandparents were on campus to see their grandchildren perform. Each grade level sang different holiday themed songs. The elementary school added student storytellers that recounted funny and interesting stories about their grandparents. The sixth grade held their history fair in November. Baron and Emma tell us more about it in their report.
The Industrial Age Project was selected to bring to life the most important time era in United States history. This is a hands-on project that allowed the students to dig in deep with their knowledge and, again, their hands-on. Well, um, to piggyback on what Mr. Conrad said, uh, it definitely brings to life what we've been studying in the classroom, talking about how America changed um, because of the Industrial Revolution. So it gives the kids a real visualization of how that happened. But more importantly, um, it teaches really important research skills, organization, attention to detail that our sixth grade students will take with them into seventh grade and eighth grade and beyond. All I did in the model piece, I had to get all these cardboard boxes, and one I had to make the base, and I had to get straws and cut them for the actual cut cardboard wheels, and just do a bunch of stuff to make the real base and wheels out of it. Um, definitely cutting out the cardboard to make the airplane. Mine was doing the research. Building parts of the model because the model wouldn't cooperate and go together. It's building the project itself and where we got to choose the project. Building the automobile assembly line. My favorite part of the Industrial Revolution project was building the cotton gin. I had to go outside and pick out the cotton and that was very fun. What was your invention? The camera. So does this do anything? Or? Yeah, when you push down the lever, that's how they take a picture. the kindergarten hosts their annual Christmas program in the church. This year, however, Miss Dupree and her kindergartners are doing things a little differently. They're having more than one Mary and more than one Joseph. All the music is written by Miss Dupree herself. She has decorated all of the king's presents and has all the puppets ready to go. Miss McCurley and Mr. Stevens were up to their elbows preparing their 7th and 8th grade, mu grade musical theater classes for their performances. The 8th grade class performed Beauty and the Beast on Friday, December 2nd. Congrats to everybody for the outstanding production on Friday. December 9th, the 7th grade will be performing Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Break a leg for 7th graders. And that's it for this broadcast of Warrior TV. Be sure to check out our broadcast on the school's YouTube channel.